This is a short new shoe review of the Topo Trail Venture 2 mid non waterproof. My current favorite shoe is the Topo Trail Venture 2 waterproof, but I got this pair to try out a more ventilated shoe that should be more comfortable on hot weather hikes. I figured I'd show it to you now while it's still new and pretty. I hate to say a shoe that costs more than $100 is moderately priced, but this shoe currently retails for $110, and it's likely a closeout as it was previously priced at $140. REI no longer carries this shoe, but it's available directly from Topo or from Amazon. The Trail Venture 2 waterproof is still available from REI, which means when they have their 20% off sale, you can get it for $144. And let me clarify, uh, nobody gives me free shoes. Every shoe that I uh, will show you, I purchase myself. Um, I don't have any sponsorships, uh, and all of these are products that I use myself. The Trail Venture 2 non-waterproof has four main features. It has a wide forefoot for comfort. At first, I thought hiking shoes should fit tightly, but that causes problems. Some room for swelling and sliding works out best for me. Second, it's a maximal cushion style shoe. To me, it feels like wearing bedroom slippers on the trail. Even though the sole height does not appear as cushioned as the Ultra Olympus, the brown shoe here, I find the Topo softer and better cushioned than the Olympus. Third, it has a clever metal lock lace that allows for differential lace tension on the upper and the lower shoe. And finally, I think this is the only remaining mid shoe that has a gaiter trap. I find the Topo gaiter so awkward as to be useless, and I adapt an ultra gaiter for use on these shoes. One final point, the Topos have a very generously padded tongue. Nowadays, many shoes have a very thinly padded tongue, and that padded tongue is very nice to have. It keeps the laces from injuring your foot. The Topos have a Vibram sole, which supplies superior traction, and they have some protection from scuffing on the uppers. The non-waterproof version varies from the waterproof in that it does not have a rock plate. I really like the rock plate, and I'm interested in seeing how these do on a long hike. The biggest shortcoming I've experienced in the waterproof version and expect to experience in the non-waterproof version is premature wear of the uppers. These waterproofs have only a few hundred miles on them, and the outer layer of the uppers has already worn through. I've patched them with some caulk, and I have a short video about doing that. The inner knockoff Gore-Tex layer is still intact, although I find Gore-Tex wears out very early in the life of a hiking shoe. I've caulked the wear areas on the upper of the waterproof shoe, and I expect the same premature wear will occur on the non-waterproof. I'll let you know how it goes. The shoes are incredibly lightweight, and I'm looking forward to getting them out on the trail to see how they perform. Topo does offer 10% off your first order and a 30-day free trial if you order through them, but they do charge $5 for shipping, which is not refundable if you return them. Amazon has the same shoe for $109.95 with free shipping. As I've said in another video, to me, there's no perfect hiking shoe, only the best compromise. The Ultra Olympus Mid Waterproof has a durable leather upper, but the sole disintegrates prematurely. The Topo Trail Venture 2 Waterproof has a durable sole, but the uppers wear prematurely. As of now, I prefer the Topos, but if Ultra could improve its sole durability, I would likely choose them because of the more durable uppers. There's no such thing as a perfect shoe, only the best compromise. Happy hiking and thank you for watching.